What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon and I realized last episode we forgot to adjust the excitement rating on Penguin Perusal so I went ahead and just took care of that. I also forgot to hire a mechanic for Scrambled Bird Egg. I don't know how long this has been closed but I went ahead and hired one lovely mechanic to go ahead and get that fixed. Uh, I have again I have no idea how long that was out so sorry for any guests that were stuck there forever. Um, what did I want to do this episode? I was looking around my park uh, between last episode and this. And honestly, the front half of our park is pretty well filled in. Um, it's, that looks pretty, pretty good. I like kind of having this open. Uh, it allows kind of that river, or I guess it's not a river. Uh, a long, narrow pond, I guess it would be. Uh, it looks good. I really like it. Um, but I wanted to build a coaster this episode, and I wanted to do kind of a, not a massive one, but a pretty good-sized coaster. Uh, this is a, what style is this again? Inverted coaster? So we have, where is that? Okay, so that's this. Um, I wanted to build another suspended type ride, so I think we're actually going to build our very first suspended roller coaster. Um, so let's do what we always do. Let's take a look at the construction and the uh, kind of suggested building tips. Uh, the track has a tubular steel spine connected to the inside edges of tubular steel running rails. Uh, supports are large tubular steel posts. Trains hang underneath the track, swinging freely from a chassis held on by wheels above, below, and outside the running rails. So uh, that's a lot of jargon for it's made of metal. It has these kind of supports, and it can it's free to swing from side to side. Um, so just like our, uh, what was it, Crazy Rodent roller coaster, where they're kind of, they pivot around a central point, you can't bank the curves because they wobble side to side anyway. Same goes for this. Uh, you can't bank the turns because if you go around a turn, they'll just swing wide around the turn instead of just staying directly underneath the track. Uh, if that makes no sense, wait till we test it and you'll see exactly what I mean. All right, so a good suspended roller coaster requires plenty of curves and helixes to provide high lateral Gs required to swing the cars. So that's exactly what I was saying. So unlike the wooden roller coaster, this is going to be much more about side to side action than up and down action. Uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of, well, this isn't the best example, <laughs> but we'll build one that hopefully is. And again, these rides are very expensive, so it's probably going to take all of our money, if not a little bit more than that. And we don't have that much money to spare as far as what loan we're able to take out, so I've, I've got to be wary of that. Um, I do want to expand my park, and as far as where I want to do that, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking... Let me actually get some, some footpath going first. I'd like to expand it on this end of our park. Uh, so if we go up here... Oh, we're underneath the coaster. That's fine. All right, so we'll flatten it back out and go this direction with it a little bit. Because I'd like to... kind of go over the ride. And then back down kind of into the forest. Uh, so with that footpath there, that will allow us to build the coaster right underneath. Um, and I'm going to have to make sure that I do this to where I come out of the, or I come back into the station like that. Uh, so I actually need to put one more there and remove the one I originally placed uh, because we're kind of tight on space here. But, oh, I actually need to clear this by three. That's fine. We'll back this off a little. Turn around entertainer. Or just walk through the ground. That works too. <laughs> that was weird. Let me actually build this first so I can see if footpath will clear or not. It won't. So we actually need to back this off quite a bit. That will clear, however. And I realized we did just lose our, or not lose him, but he's now in the woods. Both our entertainer and our security officer, I believe. 
So let's fix those guys right up. Uh, I'm just going to grab them from here. There's only so many. Yeah, you're not doing any good patrolling the grass. That's what our handymen are for. Or at least the ones that we allow to mow the grass. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do nine. I think that should be okay. Uh, and this is another ride that... Uh, what was I going to say? We can kind of get away with doing turns without chain lift just to kind of allow ourselves some freedom. Oh man, this area of our park is so incredibly forested. <laughs> I like it though. It's going to be a challenge like always, but a fun challenge. Regardless of how much I complain about it. <laughs> Okay, so doing helices up and down here is going to be kind of what I want. I think we got that error last. Let me build a couple of these real quick. I'll get right back to this. So I'd probably just place... I guess our food isn't really as spread out as it could be. Uh, we'll do one all the way at the far end here as well. Oh, I was about to place that in the completely wrong spot. All right, guests, stop complaining. Let's get back to our suspended build. Okay, where is this? Right here? There we go. Okay, so that has a lot of speed. We need to get our height markers back. Height marks on right tracks, there we go. Um, I don't want to start making this just turn right away. While that will give it a lot of lateral Gs, it's probably too many lateral Gs. Um, so I do want to kind of go up a little bit first. 24. We'll go back down one more, and then we'll start doing some helices. Or at least turns. But we probably can get away with doing helices down. But you see how these, how expensive these are? 3 into 65 for just that. Like, these get very expensive very fast. Um, can we actually, I'd like to get all the way out to the edge of our park here. Do I have a straight piece first? Yeah, I do. So if I can get away with this, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's so cool looking. Okay. Uh, let's do a helix up to the left. Yeah, we'll do helix. Can I do small ones? No, only large. Nope. Up, not down. Ooh, land not owned by park. That's fine. We'll do another helix up here. Why do I keep doing down? <laughs> up. And that's going to be in our way because we did that wrong. Okay, we'll make this work. Um, if I can get... Again, that's going to run right into it. Okay. We might not be able to make this work. I'm going to continue trying. But if it doesn't work... It doesn't work. I think we can do S-Bends. We could if Ride wasn't in our way. Uh, S-Bend right. Now it should just be the trees in our way. No, this... What am I doing? That's on the edge of our park. Forgive me, guys. Alright, so we started at 28, 24. We're at 16, so we have a lot of speed for this. Um, so let's actually try to go back up a little bit. To 20? I don't know. This is another ride that I've used to build, but not often. Um, it's fun to do. Like, I really like this ride, but it's just so expensive that, I don't know, I, I don't typically build it, at least early on in my parks. Um, so we're actually doing really well in this park. We have a lot of money. Uh, and that is not something I was kind of expecting to happen, to be completely honest. I thought this park was going to be very challenging. And so far, it's not super tough. Uh, is it going to be trees in our way? I think this one. There we go. All right. What are we doing? Or how are we doing on space here? 
Okay, so this area is kind of condensed. I'd like to spread the rest of it out a little bit um, if I can, which I totally can. It's just going to be a matter of clearing things that are in our way. And we just got a pizza stall. We'll need to build that ASAP because our guests are so hungry. Or actually, they're not hungry. They just are too lazy to walk to where food is. <laughs> is it going to be coaster in my way now? Yeah. Okay. So well, actually, one thing that's cool about this is you can go immediately from a helix left to a helix right. Or in this case, a helix right to a helix, helix left. Uh, so you can kind of snake it up. And I actually think that's what I'm going to do. I think that could look kind of cool. It doesn't look like much from here, but at an angle. Again, still kind of doesn't look like much, but it's going up at an incline while also snaking left and right constantly. I think it looks kind of cool. And then we'll do one more kind of circle here. We should have the speed for all of this. I'm not too worried about it. These trains are so heavy looking and I'm pretty sure they're actually heavy uh, that the momentum of all of this just it just flies like crazy or it causes them to not lose any momentum because there's so much mass behind it that you can just send this thing going forever and it usually doesn't run into too many issues all right we're gonna come back down here i think we're one tile too far yeah we are um Okay, we'll change this up a little bit. We'll just go up to 16, back down to 15. And I think we need to do an S-Bend to the right to get that to line up. And now we'll see if we can do another one of those. I think that works. Okay, so our circuit is complete. Uh, I don't know how this is going to do. Like I said, used to do this all the time, but not often. That sounds like I'm completely contradicting myself. I realize that. <laughs> um, oh, where can I put this? Hmm. Okay, we'll do the entrance all the way at the front. No, one down from the front, just to avoid that tree. And we'll actually see if we can do the exit right here and just weave it right back over here. I think that would look nice. Uh, so yeah, as soon as we get this entrance and exit going, we will do our normal painting and testing. And then after that, you guessed it, we're gonna demo it. I hope it, I hope it does well. Um, I'm somewhat hesitant at how well it's gonna do. I know it'll, at least I'm pretty confident it'll at least make it from the front to the back. It'll make a complete circuit. How it's exciting it's going to be, however, is a completely different question entirely. So we shall see though. Let me get this handyman assigned so nothing's disgusting. And then our mechanic is right here. Flightmare can easily cover that. Perfect. All right, so that's taken care of. Now let's paint this thing. Uh, so right now we only have one train. Uh, I'd like to get two. Okay, two trains, six cars per train. Perfect. And our only option are these suspended swinging cars, which you can see are pretty beefy it looks like there's like weights at the bottom uh suspended roller coaster train consisting of cars able to swing freely as the train goes around corners uh yeah Ooh. i just got a really cool name for this and i'm actually not gonna make you guys watch me paint all of this so i am gonna speed it up and if you can guess the name of it by the time i'm finished painting it good on you I'll let you guys know the name as soon as I get done. Give me one sec. All right, guys, if you haven't guessed it by now, don't feel bad. <laughs> Flight of the Bumblebee. I think that's awesome. That's going to be so cool. I hope the ride is as good as the name and the paint scheme. <laughs> Uh, but I guess I need to paint my cars as well. We'll do different colors per train. One will be black with yellow, and the other will be yellow with black. Um, and I like this kind of gold 
I don't think the other color, if I do this yellow, ooh, what do I like better? I think I like this better. I'm going to stick with that. And train two will be that yellow or goldish kind of color with black. How do those look? Pretty awesome. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Uh, was there anything else I needed to do? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and test Flight of the Bumblebee. Oh boy, <laughs> I can almost guarantee you that's going to be way too intense. Um, although I think it's an easy fix. All I need to really do is back off this initial drop uh, just to give it less speed throughout the rest of it. I think that will fix... Actually, that's okay. Um, this again is getting its own personal restroom uh, with a special name of please use me. Because, oh man, that is a very high nausea rating. It, I didn't mean, it is a very high nausea rating, but it's also a very high nausea rating. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's hope people actually use that. We'll put a lot of benches around here just to hopefully help with people's uh, desire to puke <laughs> after writing this. Oh man, this is already disgusting, and no one's even ridden it yet. Just wait till people actually get on this thing. But okay, let's go ahead and open up Flight of the Bumblebee and see how it does. We have an excitement rating of 6.04, so we can actually charge a good amount. 6.04, there we go, $6. I was about to charge 640, which is not at all what I should be charging. Okay, I want to see this with people on it. Um, we have, we'll do leave if another train arrives. Like usual, I don't think we'll need that. I'm hoping this is popular enough to where, or at least give it a little bit of time and people will make their way over here. But for now, we'll keep that checked just to expedite things. And then, what else did I need to change? I don't think anything. I think we're okay. Let's see how this does. I actually wanna see people's reactions as they get off of it to see if they're all just nauseous and want to puke or if they are having a blast and are jumping for joy, quite literally. How many people are on this one? Um, I guess it would be people on the ride, 16. This would be so fun to ride though. I don't think I've ever been on something that's quite designed like this is, or if I have, it wasn't memorable enough that I actually remember it, so. And I tried to stick to doing every other piece a different color. I know I had to kind of fudge it a little bit when I got back to the station. There's two right here, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. But okay, guys, uh, that is going to do it for Flight of the Bumblebee. Do we have anything else we can build real quick? We got our pizza stalls, so we'll go ahead and add a few of those. Originally, I had in mind to do like a food court, but at this point, I don't really think I'm going to. I'm just going to kind of place them throughout because our guests seem to be unable to find our quote-unquote food court areas that I really haven't even fully established yet. So I guess I can't blame them, but we'll do four pizza stalls, I guess. We'll do another one. We'll do another one right over here. That looks like a perfect place. And then, do we have anything small? I know we unlocked something. Uh, what was it? A slide? Nah, we'll build that next episode. 
that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm liking the way this park is coming out. It's we're what halfway done now after this episode, and we still have about half of our park left to use. And I intentionally kept this kind of open in this area for a reason. I plan on putting another ride going through here. Um, oh man. They don't like my path. I'll have to hire some handyman between now and next episode. But thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I know this wasn't a super crazy packed episode. But I wanted to kind of get back more on track with our schedule here. So I think we have done that. But thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, take care.